This is like night vision you go and give your kid on their birthday or Christmas. Like, look, Timmy, here, it's night vision. Just like day's night vision. Don't you like it, Timmy? And they're gonna be like, wow, dad, thanks. This is awesome. And they're gonna tell you you're the best dad in the whole world. Thank you so much. They love you so much. And they cannot wait to try out their night vision. And while they're doing that, you're gonna be like, oh, thank God. Thank God I was able to find night vision for only 60 bucks to make him happy. What's up guys, Jake with TN Town. Coming at you with another special video. Today we're talking about a little bit something different than normally on the channel. Today we're talking about cheap, budget-friendly night vision. You know, a lot of times when we think of night vision, we're thinking of like, uh, you know, Tom Clancy's Splitter Cell with the binoculars and goggles and all that stuff. It's really nice, by the way, don't get me wrong. That kind of night vision, the analog style with the green phosphorus or white phosphorus is super, super nice. It's also super expensive. So we got an email from a, obviously a Chinese manufacturer of night vision. It's Amazon night vision. And they gave us a couple of choices from their website to pick out. And I chose the cheapest and most budget friendly night vision you can get into night vision from GT Mia. This is without doubt the cheapest night vision I've ever seen. Does it work? Yes. Sort of. Today we're gonna go over all the specs and features of this night vision, do a little bit of a demonstration for you of the quality that you can expect from the most cheapest night vision ever and give our thoughts and impressions on it. So like I said, this is literally the most cheapest and budget friendly night vision you can buy. Uh, it's literally like $60 on Amazon. They do offer it on their own website for like $90, but why would you do that? This does clearly come from China and it does run off of six AA batteries. To actually use it, you look through a viewfinder here uh, it's kind of like those viewfinders, you know, when you were a kid and like you could get those those things where you like flick, you know, and it'll have a different still image with each flick that you can look at. Kind of reminds me of that. And also when you're looking through it, it's very similar, except with those toys when you were a kid, it had like a large field of view. This one does not. So you look through it and you can clearly see the image. It really does feel like you're looking through like a digital camcorder or something. It's... I mean, that's essentially what you're looking at here. In fact, it also has the ability to record footage as well as take pictures for you if you want. So back in high school, I used to do like a lot of like videos with like a handheld camcorder. This reminds me a lot of that, especially with the size of the window and the view quality. They say it's 4K HD. Well, I mean, when I'm looking through here, this reminds me of my camcorder back in the early 2000s I used to run around and make my own little short videos with. Back in high school, I was one of those kids. Not the theater kid, but just I enjoyed making content, just like today. Now, you can actually use this in just regular daylight without night vision, which, again, don't know why you'd want to do that. But it also has seven different brightness modes for its night vision. So you've got your standard, and it has a built-in LED emit an IR light for you and it's actually visible with the human eye you can see the red bulb in there on camera it looks like a weird gray color but it's actually red with the naked eye that actually emits seven different brightness levels for you so you can actually really push this out to see kind of far now at the furthest distance they claim it can reach about 900 feet now as you go further out you will lose focus they have like a manual see that there they have like a manual focus there for you kind of like how you do with binoculars or a telescope you have to manually focus it there so that way you can actually get a clear picture but even at its clearest setting i gotta be honest it doesn't look like 1080p to me now like i said it can record footage and it can take lots of pictures it actually uses a micro sd card that you insert right here on the side i think they're like 9,000 or 5,000 images or something like that now my biggest crap i have with it though honestly is the uh, the field of view you've got 10 degrees field of view so if I'm looking at this mailbox over here, I mean, my mailbox is literally like 40 feet away. If I'm lying up to the left side, I'm seeing maybe six feet to the right of it. So it's kind of like, it's kind of not good at all. Don't like that. This is going to be much better for further distances. So you don't really want to use this within like 40 or 50 feet. You're going to lose whatever you're trying to look at. If I look further out though, I mean, it's okay. The quality of the video itself, it's like super high contrast. The bright stuff is really bright and the dark stuff is really dark. Uh, much more than the naked eye. Now, this is the kind of night vision where you might take with you if, say, you are stationary somewhere. Now, even when I'm walking down the driveway and back, which I'll demonstrate here, 
you'll see it kind of gets really wobbly and jostles around a lot because it's such a narrow 10 degree view. So that's why I'm saying you may want to use this from a stationary position and just kind of scout around with it instead of trying to use it while walking or God forbid you run. As far as the quality of the night vision goes itself, I think it's I think it passes the sniff test, especially at $60. It's definitely usable. You know, you could definitely use it much like how you can use the night vision on a camcorder or a security camera. It works. It's it de it's definitely there. It's just not going to be something that you can really rely on for any kind of real tactical use. And considering that we're all about tactical stuff here, being tactical, it's good as like the most entry level night vision you can get now is this something i would spend my own money on i mean it's 60 dollars. you could probably get this to your kid for your for their birthday or christmas and they would love it is this something i think anyone that's really actually serious about night vision should get no absolutely not if you already own night vision of any kind i wouldn't get this i'm gonna say this nicely but it's about as budget friendly as you can get it works yes is it gonna be rugged Probably not, it's just a plastic shell with plastic buttons. I keep making references to my old camcorder I used to have in the early 2000s. And I think I paid like 250 bucks for that back in the day, like 2005. So the fact is it's doing that same level of quality as my old camcorder at a fraction of the cost. Granted that's almost 20 years ago, but hey, technology improves, prices get better, right? Plus with the inflation, yeah so that's pretty much all i got for you i know it's kind of a shorter video obviously it does a decent job to actually see stuff at night of course you've got basic digital night vision for 60 bucks and it can save pictures and videos for you that's pretty much all there is to it would i recommend this for anyone that's already in night vision probably not however if you need something sort of cheap really fast and just efficient this may not be a bad choice. It's not gonna be high quality like you get with the analog green phosphorus or white phosphorus night vision. There's just no comparison to that. But for what it is, for what you pay for it, I think it's a pretty good value. Guys, that's gonna wrap it up there. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe. Comment down below. What do you think about this, uh, this budget-friendly night vision? Is it worth it or is it a waste of money? Love to hear from you. We will see you next time. God. I'm trying to start the video and they're barking. Okay, let me let them out. Go pee pee. Go pee pee. Go. Go poop. <laughs>